this case considered the issue of the duties of trustees, and whether or not a trustee was to be held liable for a poor valuation in relation to an investment that resulted in a loss to the trust. In this case, a man instructed the trustees of his estate in his will to provide for his daughter from the assets and earnings of the estate, and then to leave the remainder of the estate to the woman's children upon her death. The beneficiaries of the man's estate told the trustee that they required a higher rate of return, so the trustee used the trust funds to provide a loan to a man who provided a property as security for the loan advanced to him. The trustees obtained a written report regarding the property's value from the real estate agent who had presented the property for sale. The real estate agent charged a fee for this report. The owner of the property fell into financial difficulties and could not continue paying the mortgage payments. However, it turned out that since the mortgage was advanced, the property had declined in value due to various reasons. The trustees took control of the property, but it turned out that the property was insufficient to cover the cost of the mortgage. The beneficiaries of the trust brought an action against the trustees and argued that the mortgage investment was an improper one that the value of the property was always insufficient to support the mortgage and that therefore the trustees should compensate the trust for the loss that the trust suffered as a result of the mortgage investment. The trustees objected to this and argued that they have acted with due care and that the valuation report was prepared by a competent valuer. They further argued that the beneficiary had approved of the mortgage investment and that the property that was provided as security at the time. More importantly, they argued that nevertheless that a firm of solicitors involved with the issuing of the mortgage had arranged the valuer themselves and that the trustees were not responsible for the selection of the valuer. The central issue for the court, therefore, was whether or not the trustees should be held liable for this loss. The court ultimately held that the